Welcome back to the True Crime Kid channel and in this video we'll be taking a look at Tony Johnson aka White Tony. Tony Johnson was born on the 22nd of July 1968 in Manchester England. Tony was from a broken home. His mother Susan was 15 when she had Tony and he never knew his biological father. So for most of his childhood, Tony would live with his grandmother, Winnie Johnson, in Aston Avenue, Fallowfield, South Manchester. Tony would leave school at 16 and try his hand at work as a window cleaner, but this didn't last very long. Tony's grandmother, Winnie, stated she knew Tony was involved in illegal activities as he always had nice clothes, cars, and would always have money. Tony would also have a daughter by his late teens, who he loved dearly, but his girlfriend's family would not allow Tony contact. In his early years, he befriended Tony Mackay, often called Black Tony, as well as the Ordo Tero brothers, who would later be involved in a famous shootout with police on the M6 in April 2000, leading to eight back-to-back -back life sentences. All of them were members of the Cheatham Hill Gang, later known as the Cheatham Hillbillies. The Cheatham Hillbillies would operate in the Waterloo Estate in the 1980s and 90s. The gang specialised in robberies, drug dealing and extreme violence. Tony would begin as a low-level member of the Hillbillies, committing robberies and burglaries and eventually murder. White Tony received his nickname due to his race and the fact he was one of the only white members of the Hillbillies at that time. And White Tony would commit his first murder on the 9th of January 1988. Tony would lie in wait for his victim, 26 year old Anthony Scratch Gardner. As soon as Gardner would pull up and exit the car, White Tony would step out of the shadows and pull out a sawn off shotgun from underneath his coat and pressed it against Gardner's chest and fired one shot at point blank range, killing Gardner instantly. Tony would then become the driver for the leader of the Cheatham Hillbillies at that time. In February 1990, a rival gang by the name of the Pepper Hill Mob would lose one and a half kilos of heroin. The two Pepper Hill members would be arrested and have the drugs seized. This would lead to a major drought of heroin in Manchester and left the Pepper Hill mob vulnerable. White Tony would move and act on this, which led to the famous gang war between Cheatham Hill and Moss Side. Tony and a few of the Cheatham Hill gang members would catch the leader of the Pepper Hill mob, Delroy Brown, at a festival in Moss Side and they would smash and tip his car over in front of hundreds of people. In 1990, Tony would be spotted by police in a Kevlar vest with semi-automatic firearms. This would be a major discovery by police as they previously had little knowledge of the weapons and the equipment being used at the time by the gangs in Manchester. After this, police would begin multiple operations to seize guns and drugs from the hillbillies, but this would have little impact. White Tony was involved in many criminal activities. Tony would be involved in a security van robbery at Mumps Bridge in Oldham in November 1990, which he would get away with around £362,000. This robbery would lead to his feud with the Noonan family. The Noonans were a large, respected and very feared family in Manchester at the time. Said to be responsible for multiple robberies and murders, brothers Damien, Desmond and Dominic would also run the doors on the famous Hacienda nightclub. The world famous Hacienda nightclub would be one of Tony's favourite hangouts. He had a reputation for getting into fights and threatening the doorman and the staff with guns. This would lead to the club closing down for a short time before reopening. On New Year's Eve 1991, a gun-toting 22-year-old Tony would threaten some of Damien Noonan's successors on the door. Damien 
the oldest and the most respected of the brothers, would be furious over this. Plus, Tony and the Noonans were still arguing and feuding over the spoils of the security van robbery a few months earlier, leading to a dangerous gangland feud in which White Tony would be gunned down and assassinated in February 1991 outside the Penny Black pub in Cheatham Hill. The gun battle started when Tony was ambushed in the Penny Black car park. Tony was with his best friend Tony Mackay. At the time, they would be driving his white Ford Cosworth when they would be flagged down by two men in the car park and their escape would be blocked by a taxi with Paul Flannery inside. Flannery would then shoot Mackay. Then brothers Desmond, Derek and Damian Noonan, along with Michael Sharples, joined the attack. White Tony would be injured, but began to run and tried to jump a wall, but would be shot in his back. Then someone would shout, finish him off, and two more shots would be fired, eventually killing White Tony. Tony's funeral would be attended by over 200 people, and Tony would leave behind three children. The Noonan gang were tried on two separate occasions for the murder of Tony Johnson. The first trial would collapse in 1992, and the second trial in 1993 would end in acquittals. This was a quick look at the life of Tony Johnson, aka White Tony, a man who lived a violent life and who died a violent death. If you like the content, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.